In this video, I'm going to show you how I've made simple pieces of content using AI that generate as much as $267 a day each. That's right, but we're not just talking about going to ChatGPT, punching in a question, and getting an article. We're talking about something a lot more detailed. And there's actually two AI tools that we're going to use today that are going to make you a content writing beast, even if you don't know much about the topic that you're going to be writing about. Yep, that's right. AI is going to do everything for us. Now, the first tool we're going to use, which is brand new, is the Microsoft Bing Copilot. Now, there's several different Copilots. There's some in Microsoft Office, Edge Browser, and on the computer itself. We're not talking about the Office one, and we're not talking about the browser one like this here. We're talking about the computer one. Now, the reason is the computer one, which loads right down here on your taskbar, actually has the ability to follow you across multiple pages and platforms. This is a game changer. And then there's one other tool I'm going to talk about to get tons of content ideas that you can use to make lots of money with affiliate marketing, selling your own products, brand deals, video marketing, you name it, the sky is the limit. And to show you how this works, first, we need to pick a topic. So what I did is go to Google, type in credit glossary, and threw it into my keyword tool. So I'm going to go through and find something that looks good that might lead to something that'll put money in my pocket. Obviously, something like grace period is probably difficult to turn into money or redlining debt or even something like CVV, meaning they're just looking for the CVV on their card. Not really a lot of money there. But what if we were to use something like finance charge? Ah, this one looks interesting. If we were to take finance charge and put it into the free version of the Ahrefs keyword tool right like this, we can get all the different words that people are looking up related to finance charge. Finance charge definition, calculator, what is a finance charge? This is good stuff. What we're seeing here is that these people have a certain intent. And when you know the intent of someone looking for a keyword or searching online, or even if they're watching videos on YouTube or checking Twitter, if you know the intent, you can always make money. So if I know the intent of someone looking up how to calculate a finance charge, they are probably looking to purchase something on their credit card, and they're wondering how much it's going to cost them. And if you get stuck, don't worry. You can always use the Bing right here and say, what is the intent of someone looking up how to calculate a finance charge? And you can see here the intent is to assess the total cost of a loan, compare the different credit offers, this one's super important, plan financial budgets, and avoid penalties. So we're going to go ahead and download this as a text file. We're going to keep this text file for later. Next, what I'm going to do is get a little crafty and think a little bit different. I want to think, with my keyword, how can I add an element of surprise or sensationalism or something like that? Maybe we could go through and look up things like hidden finance charges you don't know about or the real cost of finance charges. Something like that that's going to engage people. The more engaging your piece of content is, the more money you can make. So now I'm going to go through and type something in like hidden credit card finance charges. Then we hit search. This is where the Bing AI Copilot Pro is going to shine. I'm going to go ahead and check out some of these pages right like this. Using the Bing Copilot Pro, I will say, please list the numbered items on this page. It's going to go through and it is going to get all the numbered items on this page and list them out for me. As you can see, it's searching the active Microsoft Edge tab. Now, the cool thing about this is when I go to the next tab, unlike the Copilot that's in the Bing browser, this one's going to follow me and keep all the information from every previous page loaded right there so that I can become a content beast and make tons of money. And as we can see, it's now listing all of these out for us. I can then copy these and put them on my notepad file right here like this. Then I go to the next page right over here. 11 
hidden credit card fees. Now get the 11 on this page. Sometimes it gets stuck. Let's try again. Try getting the list of hidden credit card charges. And now it's going through and getting the ones from this page. This is good info. Now we'll go to bank rate. Same thing. Please get the list of credit card fees on this page. Again, we're going to copy the list and save them in our notepad for later. And what we can do now is go through and ask Bing, now using these common fees, summarize which ones are normal and which are not. And the key to using AI is to ask good questions that other people aren't going to think about. So now we can see we have about eight, nine different fees. Six of them are common, three are less common. And when we're looking at the intent here, this is going to work really, really well. Next, I can search for something like how to calculate the finance charge on a large purchase credit card. And this is going to go through and give me info here. I can see right here we have the calculator tool, which basically has like everything laid out for you. Now, if I wanted to get fancy, I could actually go over to ChatGPT or Bard or something like that. And I could say something like, please use this algorithm. Please use this formula to make a calculator for finance charges. And then we put the info right like this. Can you make a calculator for my website? And it'll actually go through and make a calculator for my website. Now that's a more advanced tip we can get into a little bit later. For right now, what we want to do is create a piece of content around these different credit card fees and things like that so that people understand what they're getting into. Now, what you're going to want to do is think ahead. When I see something like overdraft fee, what I want to do is say, how much money is made on overdraft fees in the USA each year? Something like this. What we're doing is we're going, wow, that's a lot of money. $33 billion on overdraft fees? All right, so at any rate, so we'll go through and click something like this and say, please summarize this page. It's going to go through and summarize the info about overdraft fees. Now, what we're doing here is we're getting the lay of the land for a good piece of content that people would want when looking up different things about finance charges on their credit card. Now, in my mind, I'm already thinking, okay, credit leads to loans, leads to debt protection and all kinds of crazy things that we can make a lot of money with. So this piece of content is going to be super important that we do it right. It got a little stuck. Let's try again. Please use this page and tell me about credit card overdraft fees and how much they cost each year. It's going to go through, hopefully, and look at the page for us. And we can see here it's doing a good job getting all the info, talking about how much they cost, all kinds of things like that. This is where the magic happens. I can go through and say, now, based on everything we went over in this chat, please make an outline for an article for someone looking up finance charge on credit card. It's going to go through and make an overview based on everything we've gone over, which is going to be really, really cool. And if it gets stuck, don't worry, we can actually go through and use the copied stuff that we put into our text file and use that in ChatGPT and other things like that. Using these in conjunction is going to be super, super powerful. Let me show you another tip and you'll see what I mean. If we were to go over to YouTube right like this and say something like hidden credit card fees, we can actually go here, take a look at some of these videos like this one, then we can take the link like this 
and ask Google Bard, which is free, at YouTube, please summarize this video and tell me about the hidden fees. It's very important that we direct it to do exactly what we want it to do. Otherwise, it'll just summarize the video. And when using Google Bard, make sure that you're using this link here rather than copying the link at the top, right? Like this. And if you did it correctly, the little YouTube icon should come up right here like this. And now it's going through and talking about the credit cards, why they're more expensive, different fees and things like that. We can go ahead and do this on many other videos like this one here, four hidden credit card fees, right, like this. Now, at YouTube, this one, please. It's gonna go through and get summaries of everything that we're talking about here, so that when I go to create my content, this thing is going to be a powerhouse, and it's gonna take directions that other content writers may not have thought about. And we can see here some kind of Congress thing that lowered and capped the fees. We can see what is uh, very expensive, and we could see where the super expensive stuff is here. We can also go through and do something like hidden credit card charges, or we could do something like the real cost of credit cards. Here's one, the true cost of credit card rewards. Now this one, please. And we're going to go through and get a lay of the land of what these articles are about so that we can take our article in a very different direction. What I'm thinking is talking about the scammy fees, the real cost, the stuff that might be hidden. And we could see here it says rewards can be taken away, overvalued, devalued, run experiments to find out ways to get in. Credit card companies run experiments to find ways to get you into debt. That's a pretty juicy topic easy to overspend. So there's a lot of good stuff in here that we can use. We're gonna compile this all into our TXT file, right like this. Then when we're done, we can either use Bard or ChatGPT or whatever your favorite AI text tool is, and we can give it all this information. I would say something like, first, look at this info. Then we are going to write an outline for an article about the hidden costs of credit cards and finance charges. Okay, very simple. Then we paste our info right like this. Then it's gonna go through and it's gonna make a little outline. We wanna make sure that the outline is taking the direction that we want to take this. For me, it's about the hidden cost of credit card and finance. This is super important because as of right now, not a lot of articles are putting the two together where it's like the overdraft fees, the finance charge on big stuff, the rewards points. A lot of those are separate articles. So we're gonna combine them and make one master article that should do really, really well. Then we can take it a step further and talk about various different credit cards that do a good job, do a bad job, and kind of rank them based on how they fit with what our article's talking about. And since I'm an affiliate for credit cards and have made hundreds of thousands of dollars promoting different credit cards, this thing can make a lot of money. But again, this is just tool number one. I got another one up my sleeve I'm gonna share with you in just a minute. And once it's done with this outline, I'm gonna say, now based on this info, rank the top 15 popular credit cards based on finance charges, fees, and overdraft fees, or late payment fees. And we could see it did a really good job here talking about all the different things that are going on and recapping what the articles talked about. And now we paste this in and it's gonna go to work ranking the top 15 popular credit cards based on the different fees and things like that. And while it's not actually doing the regular credit cards, it is giving us a good ranking method, which we can go even further and ask it again, and it'll probably do it for us. But either way, this is actually pretty good so they can rate their own card. And now while we're waiting for this, I'm gonna go over to Google Bard and see if it's gonna help us do this. Let's just do this, rank the top 15 with charges and fees. Let's see if Bard will actually get the hint and do this for us. 
Okay, so that one did the same kind of thing. Well, let's try something a little different. Top 15 credit cards with fees and details. Let's try something like this here. Please list the top credit cards on this page by the lowest fees. Let's see how this works. All right, can you share the exact cards, please? I think it has cards. Yeah, it does have the cards on it. Let's see how it does here. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So now we got a list of the credit cards we can use right like this. And again, we can take this and put this into our chat GPT and get better detail. Let's do, now please rank and rate these cards. And we'll paste in the info right like this. Or maybe we might need to copy it. Let's see here. Yeah, this one doesn't really give me all the details. We would need a better page to get that on, but you get the idea. If we did the work and we went through and looked at these, I think we can do really good. Maybe something like this would work really good, or credit cards with hidden fees, or something like that. And if you do the research to look this up, you can get a really, really good overview of what these cards are giving and, and how they work and stuff like this. Now, back to our chat GPT, we can see that the article is coming along good, and then we could say something like, now please write the article based on the outline and all the info so far. And it's gonna go through and write the article for us, navigating the hidden costs of credit cards, a comprehensive guide. Then the secret here is to ask something else. We wanna ask what are some other ways people can save money without the fees? What are some ways people can get loans without dealing with overdraft or overcharge or whatever it is. We want to ask something different that's going to get in the mindset of the user that's reading this article and get them to take action and click on something that's going to make us more money. This is super important because if we did this, we can get traffic to our new article in a very easy way using SEO, social media, Pinterest image showing a graph of the fees or whatever it is. Once they're on our article, then we can get them to click even deeper and look at ads about credit cards, rewards credit cards, loans, refinance, credit check, credit repair, the whole nine yards, you name it, this is gonna be a doozy. And as you can see here, it's doing a good job, got a little stuck, which happens sometimes, it's okay. I would say that if I sat down and really worked this for about three hours, I could probably get a really, really, really good article on credit finance charge and credit cards and different things like that. I think it'd be a doozy and it'll work really well. And now I wanna show you another tool that's gonna to put this on the next level. Again, what we wanna do now that we have AI is be next level marketers. We wanna get inside the customer's brain, the visitor's brain and understand why they're looking at what they're looking at and how we can help them best. And one of the ways we can do that which is also gonna help us get a ton of traffic, is by using a feed program that looks at RSS feeds in a different niche. For example, if I was to take a look at my feed, you can see I have different things about AI and money, AI news, domain names, and all different types of things. So if you're in the gardening niche, you would go through using Feedly or any other type of RSS compiler, reader, researcher, and we would go through and click on Monitor the web with AI feeds. I can go through and I can put a feed in about gardening or credit cards or whatever it is. Let me show you how this works. Let's say I wanna go in and follow a topic for credit cards. What this is gonna do is it's actually going to show us all the different stuff about credit cards. So if we do credit card, right like this, It'll track news about credit cards. It'll tell me the new credit cards, the new rules, literally everything. And this is gonna help you get content over and over and over again and actually help you make content that you know people wanna read because people are reading this kind of stuff. And we can see here, there's one that does zero APR credit cards, how, in how interest rates changed over the last 12 months, this is a good one here. And as we open the interesting ones, we can go through and have our Copilot Pro over here, summarize this page, please. And we can get summaries 
of all the top stuff that's going on in the credit card niche like that. We can create content so much faster than ever before. And as we could see, it's gonna go through and summarize the page for us in an easy way. So utilizing these tools with Microsoft Bing Copilot, Copilot Pro, using the Edge Copilot, using something like Feedly to get the up-to-date information, we're gonna get stuff that is going to help us stay on top of our market and provide content that's really going to work. And when we go out there and create this content, we wanna go and look at what is hitting the hot buttons? What are people doing? Maybe we could do something like, interest rates, interest rates. And we could see what people are doing for interest rates. And when you do this, you can see at a glance exactly what's going on, summarize it, and make your own content in real time. That's gonna help you big time. And there's actually a lot of people that are doing this kind of thing with blog marketing, where they're staying on top of you know different cryptos or different news in an industry, new products, new tools or even people like this Meet Kevin guy that's making millions of dollars each and every year, and literally all he's doing is talking about different Fed news and different bank issues. And I guarantee he's getting a lot of them using some kind of feed reader. And when you use a feed reader and AI, this is super big. Because up until now, people like me or other content creators had to have a team of writers and researchers helping us get content in a fast way that we can present it and actually turn a profit. Same with your news stations. Think about all the people it takes to get all the news and compile it and go through everything that's happening every day in real time. Utilizing AI and feed tools, you can stay on top of your market literally by the minute and create content that's gonna put money in your pocket. And if you wanna learn how to write content based on keywords and how to flip it into things that make money, check out the links in the description, smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next video.